All right, the geography of France. Please sit down. The first thing you need to do, you will have to be able to identify France on a blank map of Europe. Shouldn't be two difficulties. You should be able to discuss France's borders. How do France's borders, if I could have your attention up here, please. Stop playing with other things. How do France's borders protect it? And you should know the what is the weak point in France's border. I want you to be able to tell me why have Germany and France fought over the provinces of Alsace and Lorraine? You should be able to tell me how France meets its energy needs. That is correct. Okay, guys. And with all the other countries of Europe, you're going to have to tell me what is its, its relationship to the European Union. <clears throat> and finally, what challenges France faces with immigration? What's immigration again? What is immigration? I'm not going to When people like, go to a different country. When people come into your country. All right, vocabulary. The Central Massif is a large hilly area in France. You see outlined right there on that map. The Riviera is a resort and beach area of France's Mediterranean coast. A lot of resorts, casinos, beaches. The Pyrenees are the mountains that separate France and Spain. Notre Dame is a cathedral in Paris. Is it if, pronounced Notre Dame or is it Notre Dame? Notre Dame is a football team. Uh, Notre Dame, if you saw the Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame, this is where it's set in this church. And Versailles is the palace of the former king of France. This particular room is the Hall of Mirrors of Versailles. All right, France. Where is France? France is in Western Europe. It's the second largest country entirely in Europe after the Ukraine. France has borders of water or mountain on almost all of its sides. In the north is the English Channel, which we studied Last uh, unit with uh, England, the Bay of Biscay, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pyrenees Mountains, to the south is the Mediterranean Sea, and we have the Alps in the southeast, and finally the Rhine Valley. These give France borders that are resistant to invaders on almost all sides. Right, the northeast. Little? Yeah, it's little compared to everything else. The northeast section is, of course, France's vulnerable points. Uh, the northeast border is a low level plain, and it's through this plain that France has been invaded. By Germany, right? By Germany. Through this weak part of their borders that Germany invaded and took Alsace Lorraine from France. No, it's actually two different provinces. Uh, this region is valuable because of the rich deposits of coal. Uh, and just as today, uh, much of our fighting is over oil, the source of our energy. Back in this day, the source of the energy was coal. Coal was how you uh, fueled your industry. In this painting by Albert Bettenier, it's called The Black Stain. It shows school children being taught not to forget the lost provinces, which were colored black on map. Uh, in the north, there are two peninsulas uh, on the north of France. One is called Brittany. One is called <coughs> Normandy, and the other one's called Brittany. You may have heard of Brittany Spaniels. That's where they come from. Normandy is where the United States landed its troops when we fought the 
Between Normandy and Brittany is Mont St. Michael, built in the 11th century. A beautiful cathedral town. Is that an island or a peninsula? It was an island when they built it, but the uh, sea levels are going out. It's become a peninsula. Capital city is, of course, Paris. Very famous capital city in Europe. City of love. Ah, yes. All right, then you have the Alps. <clears throat> the Alps are, of course, the highest mountains in Europe. And... Uh, that is the highest mountain in the world, but in Europe, it's the Alps. And the highest mountain in the Alps is Mount Blanc, or the White Mountain. Um, it is in France. Here's the Central Massif, down in the South Central, the hilly region here. It has a lower population, uh, but it has some great hiking, known for outdoor activities here. People who like the outdoors can head there. And finally, uh, the Riviera in the very south on the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, this is the coast between the Alps and the Mediterranean. It's the opposite of the Central Massif. It's known for its beaches and its nightlife, casinos. All right. Uh, on finally, separating France from... Uh, Spain is the Pyrenees Mountains, uh, very steep, although not as high as the Alps. All right, the population of France. Population is concentrated on its river valleys. There are four major rivers in France. Um, as you see here, the Seine, the Loire, the Rhone. I'm blanking on the last one of the Garonne. All right, here's your population map. So with the population map overlays well, the physical map, Riviera, you can see all of these rivers by hold the population. It's really also up here Belgium. by Belgium. Yeah, by Belgium. Yep, and on the Riviera as well. And, and to the east. But the central portions are less populated. All right, what type of map is this? Oh, I know this. It shows, oh. let's see, forest, oh. grassland, Isn't it like a crops. Map? Say again, louder. Physical map. Uh, physical map is what we've been looking at. It shows the mountains and forests and rivers oh. and things like this. No, this is like land, a, land, a, land, a land map. Yes, this is a, a, land, map. a land use map. It's showing how the land is used. Uh, the majority of France's cropland. Okay, cropland in this map is uh, orangish oh. color, so I'm, it's south, it's oh, up around I Paris. Thought, I thought it was light green. Like, yeah. the light, oh, green. Cool. I, 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 light green. Light green is grassland. What's red? Red would be market gardenings, fruits, vegetables, flowers. What's pink? Vineyards. Yes, France is, of course, famous also for wines. Yep. So the purple areas would be the vineyards. All right, what? Correct. This is a political map. This shows the provinces of, uh, of France. All right, there's the Alsace and Lorraine with their rich coal deposits. All right, sources of energy in France. Young lady, tell us, what's the major source of energy in France? Nuclear. That's nuclear. correct, nuclear. And the second one, uh, uh, what is the second biggest source of energy? Hydroelectric. And do you know what hydroelectric means? Water flow. That's where they put dams on rivers or other reservoirs, and the water flows through the dam, and it turns uh, turbines. Uh, currently, France uses nuclear power to supply most of its energy, and it doesn't seem like it's going down. Uh, they are continuing to use more of more of this. How does that compare to the United States? What do we use mostly for our energy? Coal. Coal. Yes, uh, it's dirtier, but in some cases more powerful. What? Nuclear is a lot smaller for us. Uh, many people in America do not like 
nuclear energy, especially if you live in earthquake zones. France, economy. France is a full member of the EU. It dropped its old currency, the franc, and it now uses the euro. Uh, many French businesses are familiar to Americans. Some of these you may actually uh, know yourselves. Renault is a car. You've seen shirts with the little alligator on them. All right, French food. French food is, of course, famous. Uh, yes, snails, but how about macaroni and cheese and croissants and quiche? And you can't forget ratatouille. Which nation is France? Red. No, ratatouille. Fran Having just entered the room, tell us, which physical feature separates France from England? The Alps. No, that oh. would be the English Channel. The Alps are in the, the south. The That's the Pyrenees. Oh, it's the Kingdom. Yeah. All right, over here. What physical feature separates France from Spain? That one needs you. <laughs> that would be the Pyrenees Mountains. Um, back here, what physical feature separates France from Switzerland and Italy? Switzerland here and Italy there. Um, that would be. Alps. That's the one I said. That would be the Alps. That would be the Alps. What body of water lies to the south of France? Mediterranean? You are correct, the Mediterranean Sea. On what peninsula did American and British troops land in World War II? It's not the Pyrenees. It's not the Riviera. I know. The Biscay. I was going to say. It would be Normandy. Normandy. <laughs> I don't know, but I wanted Normandy. For what is the Central Massive famous? Is it growing world famous wines? Manufactured industry, landscapes and hiking, or beaches and resorts? I think it's either the first or the second one. I'm not really sure. It would be landscapes oh, wow. and hiking. Very hilly, rugged areas there. All right, what is France's Riviera famous for? Beaches and resorts. <laughs> uh, how does France meet most of its energy needs? Nuclear. Nuclear, but is it two syllables or three? Nu uh, <laughs> no, it's three. Nuclear. What is France's relationship with the EU? It's a member and uses the euro. It is a member like and it uses the euro. Yeah. All right, what is... Uh, <laughs> All right, where is France's population most concentrated? Uh, River Valley and the Riviera. That is correct, River Valleys and the Riviera. And also up here next to Belgium. Mm -hmm. All right, now if you'll turn to page 135.